Hi, everybody. What's happening? It's Wednesday morning. It's gloomy. It's, it's, it's grim. Uh, and and here we are to potentially play some video games. Thinking about some video games today. Maybe, maybe a, some kind of a variety of video games. Uh, they this this uh, we talked about it on the podcast yesterday. This Pal World. Thought I might uh, get in and and play a little bit of that. Um, but also I'm kind of I want to test out some stuff. Uh, I'm I'm making some setup changes and and some other stuff around the the uh, retro achievement stuff that I, that uh, one Seb Mall pointed me at, and I kind of want to mess with that just a little bit. And so maybe we'll we'll get into that a little bit later uh, and uh, run some old games of some variety. I don't know. We're not going to rank any games today. We're going to stick to Friday for that. I figure if Tekken is coming out sometime tomorrow in the evening time, uh, then then maybe I'll end up running a stream sometime in the in the evening time to uh, you know uh, the, to to do something with some Tekken. I don't, I don't know Tekken. It's I I uh, Tekken is the 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 run up to Tekken's release is interesting because I haven't really um I haven't re you know I I see that I haven't been watching all of the trailers they put out new trailers for characters as they get announced and 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 whatever else and um I see some of them but I, I haven't gone and looked at like the full roster but like seeing that Eddie Gordo was the first DLC character made me think like oh I guess I have no idea who is in who is actually in Tekken on day one? Like I, cause you just assume it's everybody. Cause it, it's, that's classically, it's just been like, who's in Tekken. Everybody is in Tekken. Uh, and, and you know, all, all of that. So it's like, like, Oh yeah, well I'll get in there and, uh, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll pick while wrong and, uh, you know, do some ridiculous kicks and have a good time. And I was like, Oh, I, now that I think about it, I don't even know if that dude... I assume that dude is in the game, because why wouldn't he be? Um, but with Eddie being in DLC, I was like, oh, I guess I... You know, I, I, you know I, I don't know what the roster of that game actually is. I assume just about everybody is in it, if not, if not everybody. But uh, Pete... Uh, uh, <sighs> My understanding is that P-Jack is not in the game. And... That we don't get a prototype Jack. Um, like, yeah, okay, of course there's a Jack 8 or something, but I don't want Jack 8. I don't want, I don't, I don't want Jack, Jack 8. Give me a break. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I... I I'm I'm very interested in Tekken, but I've I've not I've been almost deliberately not keeping track of the character reveals and 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 whatever else. You, th you think P Jack sort of sucks in Tekken Tag Two? You sh if you think P Jack sucks in Tekken Tag Two, you should see P Jack on Tumblr. P Jack on Tumblr really sucks. Loser. Weird creep. Disgusting. Disgusting void. Just. Just a filthy mess. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so this, yeah, Tekken's out tomorrow, and, and it's out like at a weird time. It's not, I, I thought it was going to be like 9 p.m. or something like that, but it's like, it's like late afternoon or something here in, in, the, in the good old Pacific time zone. Uh, and so that's cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to to playing more of that. I messed around with the demo a little bit and then I messed around with the demo a little bit. And, uh, it seems cool. And then I, I, well, hopefully it runs right. I have a weird problem that happens and I don't know if it's related to this OLED monitor that I have. Um, but I occasionally, and Tekken eight was maybe like the second or third one of these games that this has happened with where I launched the game and my main monitor just shut off. It just went dark. It was just like, nope. And the game is running on that monitor, but the monitor is just like, no, nah, we're no, no, man. We're cool. We don't want to, we don't want to wake up right now. Um, and 
And so for like the, the last couple of times I loaded the demo, I can only get it to load on my side monitors, but my side monitors are, uh, are turned vertically. And so I, I played, I played Tekken at nine by 16, uh, for a little while. And I was like, this is, why am I doing this with my life? Um, and, uh, and turned it off. <laughs> but, uh, so hopefully the final game, I won't have that problem. There was another game I was having that problem with, and then the problem went away. And I don't know if it's a problem with the game, but again, it's, it's something that's only happened like two or three different things. So I assume it is something specific about the games themselves and not, um, and not a system level issue, but I, who can say? Who can say? But like, I have to like physically turn off the monitor and turn it back on to get it to, to come back on after that. Like when I quit the game, it's not like the, my main monitor kicks back on. It's like, it's a really weird, it's a weird issue. Uh, that's personal computers for you. But that's, uh, that's, I intend to play Tekken on the personal computer. Because Tekken's a personal game, I find. You, know, you feel a weird connection to it. You're like, that guy's not Jackie Chan, but he sure looks like Jackie Chan, sort of, and dressed up like a cop, as Jackie Chan occasionally was known to do in film. And so, uh, and so it goes. Um, How World. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I want to play this. I want to play this on the internet. I want to do a little bit of streaming of it. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm like enthusiastic about the game itself. Like if anything, I'm more just kind of weirded out by the reaction to it. And in, in some sense, it's, it seems like it should be a really obvious reaction to it. Um, oh, you're right. I got to. Okay, this should all go away when I do. Uh, this? No, that's not going to work at all. But this perhaps will. There we go. Um... I, I, it's a, uh, it's a phenomenon. Yeah, I guess in, in, uh, in, uh, I'm a daily active users over on Xbox. It overtook Fortnite a couple of days ago. I don't know if it was just that day or if that's an ongoing thing or something. I'm, I'm just level five. So, you know, I haven't necessarily played a ton of this. Um, Just not okay. All right. I mean, fix those colors. It doesn't support HDR, but for whatever reason, auto HDR only works on some things, and so sometimes you have to switch it back to the egg. That was that's the I thought that the E button. Oh, right. You know what? I have only been playing this with a controller, and so that's why that was. I was like, oh, wait, wait. It was very confusing. Come on back. It's on Game Pass? Okay. Now nah, that may, maybe that makes a little so Oh shh. What's up? So this is my base. It's uh I built a little building because you need a uh, you need a bed with a, a roof over it to sleep. Uh, I've got a handful of uh, sheep and a chicken working my base. I got a cat that I'm rolling around with in case I need a cat for whatever reason. And I uh, I guess I need to... Well, I, I guess I'm going to build a club here. So we can build the club ourselves. We can hold the button down and fill this meter. But also the pals, as you see that sheep ran over there to help help me build... Now I've got a stick I can use to beat animals with. Let's clear these rocks out of the way and we'll build a repair station.
Well, that... I thought that was going to break apart a lot faster than it did. It's just, it's just, it's just infinite stone here. Usually these, these things break down and, and fall apart, but... But this one... This one today, for whatever reason, is not. Anyway, let's build. We needed... Uh, what do we need for a repair bench? We need wood. I'm always short on wood, I'm finding. Oops. Uh, we need that to cut wood. Really, I'm... Uh, you know, it's kind of weird that more games haven't just done the Terraria thing of, like, the ham axe or the combines tools... Because, like, what, I don't, you know, what? there's no fun in, like, well, I've got to switch to the pickaxe. Oh, wait, I know I need the axe axe for this one. And, like, just give me a harvesting tool. You know, like Fortnite. Just a single tool that, uh, you know, I can use and upgrade to... Well, we got wood. Uh... We got enough to build a repair bench. I kind of want to build it next to this, but these stupid rocks that I thought I was going to be able to break away didn't break away. We fit it in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's try and... Oh, this is... So we'll hold the button down and build this. This is... This is... As far as I can tell, this is this game. You're building bases. You're getting sticks. You're getting rocks and... And, and whatever else. So, you know, there, there's a tech tree that's obviously going to, you know, you're going to upgrade your stuff to make it easier. And some of the early game hassle is going to be less than a hassle. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, hit the start button to repair? Okay, sure. Okay, we've repaired our goods. Um, here, let me go just fuck something up for you so you get a sense of what that looks like. Here's a level two chicken. Stuck. Trapped. Oh. Okay, for whatever reason, that's not ringing up as uh, a real thing. I... Oops, shit. I did not mean to... I meant to cancel that. It didn't cancel. We're okay. I picked up a rock and now I'm level six. Which is good because I need some tech tree upgrades. Uh, let's get a... Uh, we, we, you know, what we need to do is... Uh, we need to capture more sheep. For this quest we've got up here in the upper right. Uh, so let's go see if we can find... Some sheep that we can steal. Here's one. Normally it shows like a capture, uh, uh, like, hey, you're not, you're. What's up? Wait, are you mine? Are you my guy? Are you, wait, are you part of my crew? Do you... Okay, I'm, I'm going to go further away because this might be one I already captured. Yeah, because it has a sand number. That means it's already mine. So we're not going to beat up our own. We've already beat that animal up. This one, however. We get a back bonus, so it's 33% uh, chance of capturing it. I'll, I'll, I, I'm not going to call out the cat this time to, to do this fight, because the cat just kills him too fast. What's up? All right, well, we did that. These palladium fragments you use to craft more po uh, pal balls. Poca spheres, whatever we're calling them this week. I need one more sheep. Let's run down here. 
So you see in the distance, you can get a, a glimpse of like, oh, there's kind of more stuff out here, huh? Um, that tower and and whatever else. Ooh, a penguin. It's level six, but our cat's level six. So let's, uh, well, there's two of them. Well, whatever, there's two of us. Fuck him up. And so I can, I can kind of, I can kind of have limited, uh, uh, input on the, here, let me help. Oh, this one's, oh shit. It's real. Why is it only 13%? I gotta fuck you up some more. Okay. 41's a low number, but it, like, it goes up, and then it's maybe gonna... Eh, yeah, see, it starts to... Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Ow. Just out here beating a penguin with a fucking stick while my cat also fights it. It's a weird game. Like, that... If anything, I have to say I appreciate the way that by it just being in real time... Uh... It really, it, it brings into uh, focus the relatively fucked up nature of Pokemon. <laughs> what happened there? All right. Let's see. I've never had a capture fail, but. Okay. We'll call that one back into the ball. That's a bird. It was a bird. I feel like I've found a very limited number of resources so far in the early goings of the game. It's really just been the glowy materials, the sticks, the rocks, and berries. And then, uh, you know, when you kill enemies, sometimes that'll... Uh... Wait, that's not my guy, is it? No, that's... Okay. Thought that, thought, thought my cat was running out to start some shit. I was like, I appreciate the initiative. Um, the climbing and stamina meter, you know, you kind of get your, you're like, oh, I feel like I've played a game like this before. And so there's just, there's, it's a weird mix of like, there's some Breath of the Wild up in here, there's some Pokemon up in here, and, uh. Yeah. What's a cremus? Let's go find out. Is that a goat? Oh no, it's some kind of some kind of freaking dog. Hey, 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 hey. I want to bring you to my camp. Don't you want to join my, uh, my, uh, we gotta, looks like my, uh, looks like someone learned to move over there. It says learned air cannon. So I guess they do have special moves, but I don't know if you command that directly or if you just say attack and then they do the attacks. Uh, I guess we'll find out here probably before too long. That looked like sheep running around up there. Let's go. We've got to hijack one more of these fuckers to finish that tutorial quest. Am I high? Did they run away? Uh, there's one. They're just like running away from me. They, they know... Fucking Omar coming. Hi. 
Hang on, my stamina is low. My bars is low. Please, please hold. All right. Anyway, where were we? Challenge the boss at Rain Syndicate's tower. What? <laughs> okay, that's something. That's kind of cool because I have no idea what any of that means. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, that's, that's something else to do. Uh, we can go to our pal box and uh, let's put, uh, let's move you over. Let's move you and put the penguin at the base. We'll keep a penguin in our crew. We got this fox that what burns stuff. You can hang out in the box, too. Uh, I need to build a berry plantation. So I, so I need to... Before you can craft stuff, you have to... When you level up, you earn a certain number of technology points. And then you go and you spend those here on the tech tree. Um, we needed... Berry plantation. And, uh, well, I don't know. A fire bow doesn't sound like the worst thing. Uh, a harness for holding fox parks. Activate its partner skill to hold fox parks and attack using it as a flamethrower. You need leather for this. I don't, I don't know that I have leather. Let's unlock that because that sounds like something, something different. A mounted torch. That sounds cool. I can put it on the side of my house. Make offerings to enhance the stats of the player and their pals at the Statue of Power. Sure, why not? Produces items that allow pals to use partner skills. I guess we're going to need that if we want that harness thing, huh? Um, and, uh, okay, that's all our points. We do have stat points, so you level up your character to here. Um... Let's go with stamina. Feels like we've been running out a little bit lately. And then we'll go over to our box. And we'll fill it full of rocks and stuff. Oh. Ah, a flame organ. Ugh. Ice organ. That's that's material obtainable from ice pals. It's an ice organ. I'm harvesting the organs of these uh, cute little creatures. They they just you know like everyone goes through that moment of like, dude, I just had this fucking crazy original thought. Did you know that Pokemon's actually kind of fucked up? And like. You know, I feel like this game lays a lot more of it bare <laughs> just by virtue of it being in real time and you being able to get in on the act, like literally just walking up with a club and it's going like, check this shit out, dog. Bat! Um, And that's real weird. Okay, we need to build a berry plantation so that we can level up the base. Uh, was that food? Yeah. Harvest time is quick, but eating them doesn't provide much sustenance. Requires a few pals to plant seeds, water, and harvest the crops. Okay. Let's put that, uh... Right about cheer. I feel like I'm running one of those wilderness camps where kids get kidnapped and thrown into the woods because, you know, they, they talk back to their parents too much or whatever. Except for sheep. Okay, am I doing this right? What... 
I'm just holding down the seed button. As they say. Base upgrade. So now we can have six workers at the base. All right, yes, the meter is filling up, so okay. All right. And different animals will have different um, abilities at your base. Like, you know, they need hands to carry stuff, to, to, to harvest things. That, so the cat is actually really good at busting up rocks. So I need to turn some big rocks into little rocks. So I think I might take my level 6 cat here and... Uh, Put him at the base. And then we'll take this one with us. There we go. Uh, yeah, see? Cat out here getting it done. Oh, we need to build another bed. Got to build, you know, I, I love these animals that I have beaten up and enslaved. I, I love, the, I love you, girl. I love you. Get to work. Go get daddy his money. Okay. Increase your player level by capturing 30 pals. Right. Oh, also I am hungry. I didn't I just I just gave away all the food. Uh, can I cook this mutton chop or is it cooked? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What's, uh... Oh, okay. You're headbutting rocks over here. I was like, what's... They're fighting. Um... Uh, let's build a statue of power. Oh, I didn't realize Mounted Torch was going to be its own thing. I thought it was going to be something cool like... Um... You know, that I put on the side of a wall or something like that. Uh, okay. Uh, what do I, there was the statue. Statue of power! put it over here. You know, you gotta, you gotta go some places to, to worship, you know? Everybody is here. Offer soul, pal souls to enhance your pal's stats. Where do I get the souls? Where do I get the souls?
Where do I get the souls? Also, when they die, they just, uh, the, the, especially these, uh, these sheep, they just roll. Just their dead body just rolls. You can kick them around like a soccer ball. It's really, it's, it's. That's right. Step. Yeah, I, I just, I, I just don't think I like this thing. You know, for, like, not that I'm like the world's biggest survival game person to begin with, but like, I, there's, there's just a, there are just a lot of aspects to this that just feel half-baked. At best, this this is a weird. Uh, I know one of the things they said they were fixing was pathing issues, but I, I I don't necessarily mean like stuff like that. You know, I don't mean like oh well, it's an early access, and so. But I I more mean like um the the mix of the, their mix of Pokemon and Zelda feels really. I don't know gross in some ways hi no i'm just i'm hanging out i'm cool i'm cool let's just go wander around i don't know i guess if i had a bow and arrow i could uh shoot a bird out of the sky and maybe capture that huh Might as well pick up some stuff while we're going. Look at this fucking thing. Oh, hey. It was gold and bread in there. if two of us get in on this fucking guy like what you know right huh. oh that's the wrong button <laughs> god damn it I threw a ball instead of throwing out a, a person hey 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 don't run you'll only die tired Stupid stamina meter. Did it despawn to get far enough away? Yeah, it must have. I hear a weird noise. Yo, is that a magic cat? The fuck is that thing? Oh, here it is. Is it a shiny? Is this, is it, is that, is it basically the equivalent of a shiny? Because of course, because of course. That's a big cat. What's up? Oh, uh, yeah. Six <laughs> percent.
It ain't gonna go, right? Maybe I just... Maybe there's something I don't understand about how captures work as to why a 10% capture just, just happened like that. You resting? Hey, homie, you need help? Nobody saw nothing. It's a weird game. Uh, you can do a lot of dis dif uh, difficulty customization when you're creating the world. Uh, right now, I think I just have it set to normal. So if I die, I drop everything. You can turn that off. If you... Um, you can disable hunger if you want. What's the big deal? Why you gotta... Alright, fine. fine. I got this big cat now. Will the big cat work better at my... What is this shiny thing over here? What is it? An arrow. All right. All right, let's go see what this thing is. Maybe this is Rain Syndicate's tower. I mean, I guess I could build another bait. No, I, I, you, you're limited on the number of bases you can build. I could... I could take my existing base apart, I think, if I wanted to, but. Oh, here's another fast travel point. Do you think Cativa is meant to be like a... Is it... Like, probably not. Is it meant to be like a weed reference? Yeah, if we push a cat into the fire, will we? Syndicate thug. All right. It's like Ice-T said. Syndicate fool. Okay, so here's this boss battle we were talking about. Something weirdly like Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis about this tower in the middle of nowhere that has some kind of like instanced challenge. I got a stick and a big cat. Oh, can I come up on some some discount fucking
These guys are shooting me. Hmm. 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 Huh. I said. I, uh, um, I got a level five dude. All right, maybe this game's okay. <laughs> Equal opportunity. Oh, that just counts as a capture. Okay. I thought I was going to have the opportunity to like let it go and let it walk away or just be like, nah, check this shit out. You're coming with me now. Can I, is this like, it's a nice place you have here. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Now that I've uh, now that now that I've captured an enslaved a human, a lot of dead bodies out here. You guys have been busy. Don't understand. The fucking catch them all, you piece of shit. But you can capture up to like ten. Like one of the things they say is like you know each time you capture the same thing again, you can capture it up to ten times for an XP bonus, and that just that seems extreme. <laughs> I'm on fire. It's fine. So is this gonna? That dude's just mine now. Let's go back to the base. Uh, okay, let's uh, manage. Get to work. Build this base. Weird. It's a weird game. Uh, being able to capture humans, I feel like, changes something inherent in, about my feelings on this game in a way I can't quite explain that somehow I'm like, okay. All right, well, well, okay. If I can, if I can also enslave people, then I guess it's okay. <laughs> like, it's weird that you can beat this sheep to death and then just roll it around and roll it in the water and watch it, uh, watch it roll away. Something about that feels bad, but 
this guy was trying to shoot me. And now he's mine forever. That says something really... I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that says. Oops. Oh, I accidentally hit my back trigger. I, hmm. Well, that's interesting because now I'm trying to stop it from mapping and it's, well, whatever. Well, that's good. You know, I can, uh, I can jump and reload. Cooking up a lot of berries. A lot of berries. By the time I put the, the, by the time I swapped animals out and all that other stuff, wouldn't it just be done? I don't know. Then I've got to swap it back at the end. Let's try it though. Uh, I guess what we got to go here. Manage. We got to put you here. Put you here. That's right. Sleep in your bed, creature. You're an animal. It wants to go up there and ignite that torch, but it can't figure out a way to get up there. Maybe if I go ignite it. You fucking slack asses. Just gonna stay up all night cooking, baby. gotta cook. We've gotta get these baked berries. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Well, now I can eat because I'm hungry. Now let's see if we can build the PAL gear workbench. We need cloth and for cloth, we need wool. So I think we have some wool. We'll make some cloth. I don't want to wake them. Oh, that was only one cloth. We need two. All right, actually, let's sleep because this is ridiculous. You're a creepy fucker, you know that? 
Glad you're on my side. Okay, we did cloth. Now we need to build the workbench. Oh, hi. You want to get the shit beat out of you and uh, enslaved? Just for kicks? I don't know. You want to get out of the way of the thing I'm trying to build? Oh, you motherfucker. Okay, and now we can up is this we upgrade the base again? Build a crusher, a stone pit, and a logging site. What the f alright. Uh well I guess we can have uh one more at the base, so why don't we put Why don't we put you here? We'll build another bed. Over here in the bed zone. <laughs> All right, slow worker is gonna. You're gonna come. You're, you're just gonna roll with me. We're gonna go fuck fools up. You're high level enough that. You should be out here with me murdering. We'll keep the big cat on us. No, you know what? I want to see what the big cat looks like in the base. Okay. I think the thing that makes this game stand out is that it's just fucking janky enough to be... It, like, it's just weird enough, right? Like, it's there's nothing inherently... Wild, you know, you look at it, you go, like, you recognize this game, right? You look at it, you go, oh, yeah, okay. You look at this fucking shitty house you built and the... the okay, yeah, this is... You made this survival game. Like, it, it just, like, aspects of it feel incredibly bare bones. And then the thing that they've got for it is, you know, by the way, it's also kind of a bootleg Pokemon game, right? Uh, but then it's just janky enough to have like that kind of charm, right? I mean, between that and then just like, hey, you can, you know, you can capture fucking humans in a Pokeball and, and that's good and you can give them guns right is that the now that i've when we're done watering these berries we'll go see if we can build a gun to put on this cat or something um and so i think like i guess i guess what i'm saying is like it's it's when you think about those elements and how likely those elements are to result in people like really wanting to see it Like, that's why the game is having this moment, right? Um. But I wonder if it will retain it. I, it, it. It probably can't possibly retain the concurrence that it's hitting on Steam. Like, long term. Um. 
but it's like a it's a fascinating novelty right now. And they're making millions and millions of dollars right now while it is having that moment, but uh, and those will be people that will keep coming back to it, right? I assume. Okay, so now I have this harness. Syndicate Thug produced one harness. Thanks, Syndicate Thug. Uh, did that harness... Is that in my invent... Wait. Ancient civilization parts. Precious claw can be sold for a high price. So did that just automatically go on the... Because um, that, that, that guy is in my crew, right? When activated, equips to the player and transforms into a flamethrower. That sounds compelling. I got a flamethrower in Call of Duty and it was dumb. A stone spear. I mean, that's probably going to be better than this club, right? So we might as well uh, get it. Oh, a bat. Yeah. All right. Oh, we need a logging site. We need a stone pit. We need a crusher. I might as well just get some of this stuff. I don't know. Yeah, like certainly like survival games have healthy player bases. Yeah, I mean, you're saying that Ark has a decent player base and does respectable numbers, but like... I don't know. Ark is... At this many years in development, Ark is at least a somewhat... Uh, more developed out than this is. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, not... Let's not be crazy here. These games are still these games. Um, people from all walks of life are now seeking such crystals. I like that it's a spark plug. I like the implication there. That's, that's lore right there. You're like, wait a minute. That's a spark plug. Uh, we need more balls. I can only make two balls. I don't have enough stuff to make more than two balls. But yeah, I don't, yeah, I guess we'll see. You know, if if they end up kind of keeping up a healthy development pace on it, that'll certainly uh, that'll certainly help. Can we build a, Can we build any of this stuff? A crusher, a logging site. We ain't got enough wood. We never have enough wood. Yeah, I, I have heard bad things about the netcode. Uh, but you can't have 30-player servers. You can run a dedicated server. Um, Clear-cut, motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about. Pistol man. And then once we get this shit built, we'll go out and uh, enslave some motherfuckers to help us run it. I guess. A facility for producing wood. Leave it to pals skilled in logging. Well, I don't think we have any of those right now, but... Let's put this out here, I guess. Hell, I don't know.
I assume this just makes it so I have a steady supply of wood without having to go to trees, right? I mean... Yes, that is what it seems like. What's up, big cat? Yeah, peace, peace. Uh, alright. Stone pit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that's right. Get that rock, baby. Um, handiwork, transporting, and farming. The cats can do mining. Planting, okay. We're going to need to find someone that can do logging, I suppose. This is a great spot. I love that everyone gets caught out here. Who's slacking off? Not you. You're resting. You. See now, isn't everything good? No? It's not? Come on. No? Still nothing, huh? Are you still stuck on this? Dude. Yeah, they were... Uh, the update they put out today saying, like, we need to work on the pathing. Like, oh, you're right. You do. Uh, Toco Toco implode unit. What? Uh, oh, is that bad? Our motherfucker's coming to start shit? Is that... Why is this lamb stuck in the tree? Oh. Was that them on the map? Okay, here they come. Hey, gun guy. Uh, it's time to gun. That seems bad. This motherfucker's just gonna die up here, huh? Well, maybe I can... 
I guess I gotta manage you out of existence real quick here. Move. Okay. We'll put you in the base. Okay, well, can we at least clear these bodies out of the base, guys? Can we keep just keep the base clean? Just uh, I need to build a crusher. I was like, I don't know what to do next. Like, okay, I guess I I need more wood to build a crusher. We need to go catch somebody who's good at lumbering. So I don't have to keep doing this. This is way too slow for the amount of wood we're getting. That's not, this is not the, we, let's. If I chop down this tree, will you stop doing this? No, you'll just do it over here? All right, well. I feel like with how, you know, like, uh, grim is not the word, right? Because you're kind of bringing that grimness to it, right? But... But I feel like with the rather blasé nature of the way this game deals with corpses and stuff like that, that like, I feel like I should be able to have a carving knife that I can just use to carve up bodies and get leather or whatever else off of them. You learn that later? Okay. All right. Oh, wait limit. Goddamn video games. I fucking hate them. Just the worst. seeds. I guess, uh, is there like a smart, yeah, quick stack. I can just, well, that doesn't, I'm going to need to build a second chest, I guess, huh? Like I always hate putting points into weight because it's, you know, it's not as good as I need to be able to murder things better or whatever, but, uh, sometimes you gotta, this guy, look, buddy. At least he's happy. As long as he's happy, you know, he ain't bugging nobody. Oh, right. I was going to build more balls. Yeah. <sighs> Why has this man turned the gun on himself? This is some fucking Mass Effect Andromeda gun wielding we've got over here. Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, lady, hey, lady. You want to see my gun? Hey, lady, you want to hold my gun? Hey, lady, hey, 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 hey. Okay, is there food in here? There is. Okay, we got food in the thing, so they'll they'll do whatever it is they do. I thought I had a gardening dude. Let's water these and then sleep and then we'll... Oh, we'll spill this crusher. Oh, did I just fucking blow all my wood on the crusher? Or, or on balls? And now I need more wood to build the crusher. Fucked up. Fucked up. first thing I do when I wake up, I stand up on my bed and get ready to attack the day. Yes, we need wood. We fucked up on the wood. We pulled a boner on the wood. I don't have enough wood for the crusher, so let's go repair this. And then I... Uh, I am on a wood and water rage with this stuff, I swear. I like that big cat. Yeah, I, it's... I, I don't know. That's... Like, do you think this is going to turn into something? Or, or are people going to, like... I, I guess it's up to the developers. I mean, like, the, the good news for them is they have now sold a zillion copies of this thing. So I'm sure they will have the fucking resources to, like, work on it, right? Um... it needs that but it's gonna need like pretty constant updates as all these games do but and people talking about lawsuits and stuff like I, you know look What are we, you know, like, again, like I was saying on the podcast, I, th I think there's going to be aspects of this where uh, there was that Video Games Chronicle story talking about how some of the models were, like, alarmingly close to models ripped from, like, the most recent Pokemon release, right? And so, from that perspective, you look at it and go, yeah, like, if, if that's true, then, then I can see that being the source of a lawsuit. But, like, what else are you gonna, you know, like, if they're, like, sort of close to creatures from Pokemon, like, at the end of the day... Eh. 
I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. None of this seems illegally close, and the way that people keep freaking out about, like, oh my god, it's... I, yeah, I don't know. The... This little plant slime... Original character, do not steal. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Never a single time. Never a single time. Um, it does need, uh, you know, the, the it seems like the the uh, the controller sense, the right stick sensitivity seems to not work the way you think it should, and so camera turning is really shitty with controller. Um, feeling down because of bad working conditions. What the fuck are you talking about, man? I run a fucking... Okay, no, it's not you. It's the other one. This other one's a troublemaker. This other cat. Bad working conditions. Where are you? We gotta build the crusher. We don't have time. Keep fucking making the rocks. Let's put this here. Yeah, and the working conditions are bad. You want me to club you again? But yes, at the end of the day, I think, you know, like, I, I would like to see some of these fuckers running around with guns. That's stupid. That's the right kind of stupid. And, uh, and I can, I can appreciate that, I guess. But I think people being like, it, it's, the, you know, it's the whole... You see it in wrestling around certain, certain specific wrestlers, certainly. Pokemon is like Beyonce, if you think about it. Where like the defense force, the fucking hive shows up to be like, this is an outrage. Like, what are you the fucking cops? Let the lawyers figure it out. Also, it's not, you know, it's not something, this is not worth outrage. You could look at it and go, this is shameless and go, ah, eh, fuck this. Fuck this shameless shit. I don't want to play this shit. But to be like, how dare they? I can't wait for the loss. You know, like I've just seen a handful of people just being fucking crazy, <laughs> just being crazy about this thing um and i think you know when you i guess i guess that nintendo already did issue a takedown over a mod that replaced models in this game with literal pokemon and so clearly nintendo was aware of it and if they were going to take action well you know hey maybe they're still investigating maybe they're still building a case you never know but uh one would think that Nintendo may have acted by now. But again, I, I go back to, uh, you know, and, and again, I'm not going to sit here and cite case law and all this other shit, but like, there was the lawsuit between Data East and Capcom, where Capcom sued Data East for the game Fighter's History because they felt that Fighter's History was a Street Fighter 2 ripoff. And they were citing things like, um... There's a punk rock guy in that game that throws CDs. I forget it is Gunlock, and I forget the no, not Gunlock. That's in the anyway. There's a character in Fighters History that throws like spinning CDs, and as part of the evidence that Capcom tried to put together for their lawsuit, they showed that and said the movement on this is a lot like Guile's, uh, a lot like Guile's Sonic Boom. Matlock, yes, it is Matlock, isn't it? That's so. How could I forget? Um, and they were... So that was the minutia that, that Capcom was trying to go for there. And they lost the lawsuit against Data East. 
And there were things in the 80s of trying to be like, okay, can we copyright? What can we copyright? What can we patent? All of that sort of stuff around games like Pac-Man, you know, which led to obviously there were a ton of Pac-Man clones uh, and Space Invaders clones and all of that other stuff in the day. And so you had a lot of people, you know, or had, had uh, like a lot of stuff happening back then um, around like, can we... Can, can we, as the creators of Pac-Man, prevent people from making anything similar to this, like Ladybug uh, or any of the other games that were kind of happening around then? And the answer was no. Um, the answer was no. And so, you yeah, you get these narrow copyrights where, like, yeah, Namco tried to copyright loading screens, uh, loading video, playing inter interactive loading screens, which they, they did for a while. They did control that uh, patent or, what, you know, whatever it was. Um, but in, in you know, in, in, broadly speaking, you can't really control it that tightly. Otherwise, like, you know, all these Minecraft clones, like, you know, Doom clones, you know, what if fucking Infiniminer was the last one of those and no one can make one because Infiniminer did it first, right? Uh... I already have one of these. You didn't have the right stats or the right uh, abilities. Maybe you need one of these deer. Who do I got? Who's in my posse? I can carry you like a flamethrower now, right? Is that? Come here. Oh, I hold down the button? Oh. No shit. Well, that's just big open. You're going to you're going to run forever. I can't. Oh, this meter's draining out. Like is there a crouch? I know, I saw, I mean, I was able to crouch when I pet the thing, and then I was doing, like, a walking crouch after that, but. Alright, let's go. This is stupid. Can we back up and let this asshole out of the water? This game good if it wasn't tied to the Pokemon controversy. So that, that's that's kind of the the thing I'm that that's that's sort of the point I'm kind of getting at is like I don't. I mean there are a billion fucking games similar to this, right? Um, in terms of uh, survival games and you know all the. Where are you? You're just fighting another one? What are we? All right. All right. Sure.
Yeah. Come over here and let's... Oh, God damn it. You killed it. Trail of bodies out here. Lumbering. Level two. That's what we're looking for. Lumbering. Let's go back to the base and uh, let that motherfucker get wood. Am I even going the right way? Yeah. I can't just fast travel out here, right? I gotta... Oh, well, I guess I could run... There's... There was a fast travel point over there somewhere. Oh, well. Let's hope we have enough stamina to do this. <laughs> All right. Well, here's another one of these things. Some kind of shiny tree, too. Ice skill fruit. Grass skill fruit. Electric skill fruit. All right. What the fuck? Use of on a pal to teach ice missile. Oh, okay. Seed machine gun. Oh, so you can you can equip different moves to your guys too. That's uh, I mean I guess that makes sense. Have I get anything for chopping this tree down? You think? Probably not. Let's leave it in case it grows more shit. Uh, well. Wasn't sure if the water was deep enough. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck this game. Fuck this game forever. Because now we're going to die out here and lose our ice missile and all that other shit. I can just fucking respawn all the way over here? That's weird. Uh, where... I mean... Is there just zero indication of where my... Well, this is like where you start the game. It's a red. There it is. Okay. That is very hard for me to see. Let's 
try to see if we can go get our shit back, I guess. Let's see if we can die again in the process of getting our shit back. Here's another egg. Oh, God damn it. So I'd probably be better off running back, fast traveling over there. No, running around is probably actually... You think I can make the jump? I don't know. If if uh, if she'll grab the wall, then okay, all right, okay. Okay, problem solved. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now we're going to go get us some wood and then turn this off because I don't want to play it anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's, I don't know that I will touch this ever again, to be honest, uh, in terms of the type of game it is and all of that other stuff. It's like, yeah, this is... There are aspects of this that are kind of fascinating, but also um, I just don't, don't want to do this shit. Same, buddy. Same. You idiot. You stupid dumbass. We're taking you off base duty. You. And what did you have? You just had igniting and... and All right, this one's got all the same stuff, but... All right, we need to build another bed. But I think, you know, it's sometimes these creatures look like um, if Mad Magazine did a Pokemon parody. You know what I mean? All right, you're coming out of the base. Oh, you're really useful, though. What's so bad about the working conditions? I don't, it seems it seems fine. I, I you got a bed, you got food, you got fire. I don't I I don't I don't get what the I don't get what the problem is. Big cat ain't got no problem. Well, also big cat's at forty eight percent.
What's wrong with these cats? Why won't they work? But yeah, in a world where it feels like we've experienced like a decade of crafting and survival games and all this other stuff, like, I don't know, the bar is high, you need a hook. I'll give it this. This game has a hook, right? You can decide for yourself how that hook makes you feel. Um... I just, th I, uh, just. Oh, I need four to get to level two. Okay. But yeah, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it makes sense that someone would try to make another, yet another game like this if they thought they had a, a hook in place that would. That would get it where it needs to go. And... You know? Catching them all... Is an interesting hook for this type of game. And it makes... it, it Like I said, it, it makes for... like it, It's kind of fascinating because it does lead to just like new... This is way more unsettling than actual Pokemon is, right? Because of the nature of it. Because of like, oh my gosh, like I just clubbed that fucker to death and now its body is here rolling away. I did that. It, I didn't just pick... On, I didn't just get on a menu and go, yeah, attack that fucker. Like I, you know, me and my cat clubbed a fucking chicken to death. And then we enslaved a, a bunch of animals and a and a dude. I don't know where that dude is. He's around here somewhere. Some pathing issue somewhere. Uh, there he is. He's doing dumb shit down there. Stupid ass. Um. Like it's a real silly fucking thing, but also it brings into you know focus some of the some of the aspects of Pokemon that are further removed and, and, and like I said, like basically stoner thoughts about Pokemon or, or a uh, uh, freshman philosophy, same thing. Freshman philosopher thoughts on Pokemon. Like, I don't, you know, I don't think it's, I don't think it's okay that we're enslaving these animals. And you're like, yeah, no, I, yeah, yes, sure. Yes. Okay. What else you got? That's it, bro. That's what I've come up with. Cool. All right. That's a hot take. Please, please turn that into a 90 minute YouTube video. Um, like this game for like, for whatever it's worth, like this game does make all of that shit a little more head on in a way that you're like, yeah, man, this is uh this is kind of fuck, kind of a fucking trip. I thought I took the oh now that now the other this other cat is upset. These cats just don't like fucking hanging out. They don't like working. Anyway, maybe they need a hot spring. Can I even build a hot spring? I guess I need to level up again, huh? Oh no, I have some I have some points. No, I don't have any points. Where is hot spring on the menu here? There. Ah, this one needs PAL fluids. Uh hello. Do you have any PAL fluids? I've got two PAL fluids, but I need ten. <sighs> Disgusting. 
disgusting. Um. Anyway, I don't know. And then over in that tower, there's a boss fight of some kind. But I don't, I don't know that I'll ever, I don't know that I'll be seeing that. Anything's possible. But that's just not my thing, you know? I'll put it to you this way. I don't, I just don't play enough of that style of survival game to need the extra juice of like, yo man, but this one's like Pokemon, but with also, also, but with guns, like that's all fine and good. But I, I would trade all of that away for a game that was less, less janky, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's certainly something to it. I, I, I guess it's, it's, it's more than just the surface level interest of, um, yo man, what if the Pokemon had guns? Like it, it, that is certainly a draw, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, it seems to at least, at least out of the gate have a lot of the very simple, uh, tech tree and building stuff and base building that you would expect a game like this to have. So take that how you will. I don't know. It's, uh, I, yeah, I just, it's, I just, it's just not that interesting, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's more interesting to talk about than it is to play, I suppose. Um, for me, but we'll see. There are people on my friends list that have put a, a dozen hours or more into this thing already. If not, uh, if not more. So, you know, um, I was fiddling around, you know, before we get to Friday and before we get to some 8-bit Nintendo games, I was starting to fuck around with, um, a little bit of this stuff to try to, you know, just to, to add a little bit more, uh, a little more, more action to the, uh, to the screen. And, oh, I need to launch the thing. I need to launch the other thing. And it didn't add itself to my start menu, so now I've got to go dig it out of this directory and all this other shit. All right. All right, well, that, yeah, I mean, that, that all seems to basically pop up. Um, let's launch a game. And, uh, I don't know. What's a game that's going to have, this game probably has. <laughs> Oh, I jumped over that coin instead of on that coin. We've made a heinous mistake. fuck is a super Mario? He's got Mario around these parts. Oh boy. I'm really good at doing this in the arcade version. 
Not so great at doing it here. I need to earn a fucking achievement. <laughs> God damn it. To make sure the thing is working. Uh... There's one. Oh, God! It should take no more than 30 seconds for the screen to update. It's not a... It's not an immediate refresh. There it goes. Yeah, okay, so that works. I don't know, that's like just a little something else on the screen while we're doing this. Seems like it works well enough. Um, it's it's a little I don't know. It's a little janky. But what? <laughs> but everything involved in streaming video games is a little janky. So. Again, jumping over the coin. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know. There, this, this, this could probably all be prettier, I'm sure. Um, but I thought it would be fun to have a little bit of extra um, info on screen. Also helpful if people are scrubbing through an archive and want to see a specific game. It'll be written right on the damn screen. Uh, which is cool. So, I don't know. Mario Brothers, am I right? I, my inability to time the jumps to collect coins while jumping is, uh, stupid. Uh, just like that, now Bryn is playing a game called Pal World. It just happens that fast, doesn't it? It's a sickness. <laughs> Don't blame me! That's a good noise. Oh, he's gonna freeze that platform. Anyway. I can I can tell I can tell you how long. Okay, so now it'll update right now. Yeah, and there it's got the Yeah, so every 30 seconds it uh I guess checks the retro achievements API uh for 
any changes in the current game to update that thing in the lower right. That's kind of cool. I don't know. That's 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 neat. Um, that seems to work. Uh, that seems to work just well enough. Um, there was something else I was kind of messing with. I don't know. I'm I'm curious about just streaming this. Just while we're here hanging out, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Yeah. Um, let's see if we can make this work. If I do this, if I do this, how are the kids? The kids are good. Uh, the kids are good. Uh, they're, they're getting, they're getting over, you know, yet another cold, but, um, but they're mostly over it and doing okay. Um, yeah, this doesn't seem like it's showing up, but maybe I need to launch a thing before it will. <coughs> um, what is a thing I know will work? Let's try this. <laughs> All right, that's that doesn't work that way, but will this work this way? Let's okay, that's less than ideal because it's capturing that top window as well, but uh, but it is capturing something. There's a, there's a dedicated CDI emulator that has existed for years and years and years, and um, it hadn't seen any updates in a very long time. And uh, MAME's support of CDI games seemed to improve, and now this emulator uh, has also been seeing some updates lately. Um... And so every time these emulators get updated, you got to go check and see. No one is emulating the digital video cartridge yet, which is the thing that a lot of mid to later day, uh, latter day CDI products need to run. Um, this is a, a horrible, this game is terrible, by the way. Imagine if in the early 90s you spent, you know, $700 or a thousand, you know, whatever on a CDI and this is what you could do with it. It's <laughs> a real... A real mess. Uh, I think, okay, so I think, yeah, there's some, so we close that. Let's try and open something else. Um, just need to know if it emulates the stuff that matters, right?
Uracocha Taitan Ninchis, Papanchis, o Juancuna, Alinta Tia Sartingo, que ya están chispi, Paisca Charaña. Intinchis, Papanchis, Manania Chacan Charinca, Ruparinca, Watay Watay. I felt a menace premonitions like a tumi in my heart. Catastrophes, earthquakes, and finally the arrival of these birds of ages in our lands. Let them delude themselves with this gold which blinds them so. The real treasure of the Incas, our knowledge, have hidden it away in a safe place. I can't... Hang on, we're gonna... I'm just gonna and double check. this one out, bodily shell, to become apple, and wait for the prophecy to be okay. fulfilled. Ah! What the hell? Ah, ah, he's waking up at last. Come on, young man. You've slept long enough. My name is Huenacapac, Apu Huenacapac. And you, El Dorado, are you really the chosen one that have been waiting nearly five centuries for? The one in the prophecy. Before you set off on your quest, I have to warn you that somewhere in space and time, Another you has appeared. Another me? And he's looking for the same thing as you. That's, wait, the me is... Be the other me is looking for the same me? Blessed be your name. Please guard that which I have preserved. So that it doesn't fall into the other's hands. Take great care. His powers are without limit. He knows of your existence. Uh -huh. And he's already looking for you. Me? I talk too much, don't I? The young warrior's heart is beating like a drum, which drowns out the wise man's words. Since you are so young and impatient, you'll see action. We are now close to the planet, where I have hidden the power, which will give us mastery of time, that foremost gem of the Tumi. I'm never gonna... I'm never gonna play my way all the way through this game. Go now. But... And prove your value. Sometimes I think I should dig up a video of, uh, of someone playing through it. But I, I kind of just want to see if it controls right, and then and then I kind I mean I kind of want to watch the intro all the way through since we accidentally had to skip it while we were fucking around with color space stuff. But You know, one of these days, yeah, like I said, watching a video would be interesting because I, it would be interesting to know what the fuck you're supposed to actually do. Once the video game part of it starts, like I have one button I can push that shoots. I have another button I can push that, uh, is, I, I don't know if it affects... It, it seems like it affects thrust. Like, it, it manipulates those meters at the top of the screen. So I can push it again and, and punch it, I guess. I guess this is punching it. What's the screen? What's, the, what's that thing at the bottom? Is that, uh, are there any... Is there any indicators on there that matter? These lines that keep draining out over and over again, is that something? Like, I, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's the, the part of the mystery of Inca is like, what the fuck is any of this? And I suspect it's one of those cases, you know, you, you never know, right? But, uh, but you... Is it one of those cases where when you really know what's going on, is it actually super fucking pointless and, and dumb and... 
Much like watching Japanese television when you don't speak Japanese feels like a wonderland of like, oh, it's so weird. Oh yeah, it's so weird. And then it's just like, no, they're just cooking food and talking about the food. Like it's not. I feel like learning how to play Inca would rob it of everything it has with the possible the exception Inca, but I had the of the, to of the intro five times in a recent past go and win I feel like some of these screens I don't remember seeing quite, you know you know and I, I try not to keep Inca at the forefront of my mind because otherwise you know that's uh, that that's how you go crazy um but there are aspects of this that I don't really remember seeing before, which is probably um, just because I've forgotten it or whatever. But um, I do think that this little Phillips intro is really good. It's a it's a neat little tune. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is this is a paid emulator. This, the the author of this sells this. Uh, you, if you there is a free version available currently. Um, that uses the same BIOS files that you would use to run it in RetroArch or in MAME. Earthquakes and finally the arrival of these birds of ages in our lands. Generally speaking, this emulator seems like it is a little further ahead of some of the other emulation out there. But I have run into cases where games do that run on MAME don't run here, and you know, so it's not it's not quite one to one. The author of this emulator did help out with some of the MAME progress, and this the author of this the author of this emulator who goes by the name CDI Fan, by the way. So you know that the author is serious. Um, has further updates for this emulator planned, um, and that's exciting. That's very exciting. As a, as something of, I guess I would, I guess I would have to call myself a, a CDI fan myself. Maybe in a different way than the CDI fan is, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but the emulator hadn't been updated in years. Oh, yeah. That flute is flying away. What do you think working on this game was like? Just it's you just you get your yeah you like your you get your fizz face on for this one, man. Why are there fucking like 3,000 different boring fucking metal bands covering NES songs? How come they aren't covering the song from Inca? Where are those fucking video game music cover bands?
Here's a solo. This fucking rips. This fucking rips, bro. I didn't touch anything that time. It had ah, it had enough. He's waking up at last. No fade out on the music. On, it's just like, man. nah, man. You've slept. We're up, we're done up. with the credits. My name is Huena Capac. Buy the are soundtrack you if you want this Capac? shit for real. And you, El Dorado. Are you really And the you, one El Dorado. Then? And you, seventy six Cutlass. We're just we're, we're good. We're good. We've seen what we need to see. Yeah, there is a follow-up to Inca that I believe only came out on the PC. This also came out on PC, so you you could theoretically... I don't know if it has all of this fucking multimedia in it. Um, but there is a, like a, a PC version of this thing. I, I, I bet it's not part of ExoDOS because I bet by 93 it probably was a Windows. Well, no, that would be before Windows 95, so it would have to be... I mean, maybe it runs in Windows because maybe it was built on fucking QuickTime or something. But, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They found us. I don't know how, but they found us. It was just DOS? Okay, so if it's DOS, then it's probably part of the ExoDOS collection. If I had to guess, I mean, why wouldn't it be? Um, and when it comes to the CDI, like, you know, there's a few things that I remember and, and a few things that I always am trying to see if it works or not or whatever, but at the end of the day, it, it really is just like me looking at a directory full of shit and going like, I don't know, man. Well, uh... This probably won't work, but let's try it. Because so many of the things I want to see are things that would require the, uh, the, the video add-on. I can only hope that Inca 2 contains a uh, remix or, or a, new, a different version of Inca People, the song, you know? The other funny thing that happens when you stream CDI games is that a lot of the fucking music in it is just like production music and, and whatever else. And so you see a lot of like YouTube content ID claims on some of the music. Let's try Cart Race. Car color. Let's go with this one. Phoenix track. Phoenix track. This desert oasis provides a colorful southwestern backdrop for your first experience in competitive racing. Beginning with a standard oval loop, this asphalt cart track turns to the left slightly before bending into a dogleg loop. 
Watch for a dog leg loop. As you come out of the dog oh, don't you know it's got a dog leg loop? And the experience of a phoenix arising from the ashes. I'm sorry, what? Whoa! Improving your speed is the first thing I'd recommend, but any improvements you make will keep them from laughing you off the track. Fuck, dude. Don't be so harsh. You're like my pit guy. Hey, suck ass. Why don't you upgrade your car, stupid? Hey, jack off. All right, let's see this hot racing game. I don't even know what this is going to look like. You should make the car go better. Oh, Jesus. Drive on the qualifying run in which your time to make one lap around the track will determine your place in the starting line. It's only two buttons on the controller. I picked the wrong one. These are really good sound effects. Pole position is a better game. I wonder if this is stuttering and, and this is not necessarily how this is supposed to sound. You know what? We're going to do this and then I'm going to make some... Uh, so I, what, what we're doing right now is we are, we are technically running an NTSC game on a PAL machine. And I wonder if that could lead to some stuttering. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to make that change now before, instead of instead of just bearing that noise because now I want to know. So that was the US version of it, but we can run the European version of it. There's nothing stopping us from doing so. And that will theoretically probably be one better suited for 50 FPS. Alternately, we could change the emulator to run 60, but then you have to restart it. And... I feel like this all runs fine, though, so. Yeah, the difference is PAL resolution tends to, it, it's slightly higher. Um, generally speaking, but also uh, 50, like a lower frame rate, basically. make our same choices here phoenix track phoenix track oh man improving your speed is the first thing i'd recommend but any improvements you make will keep them from laughing you off the track you piece of shit hey you jag hey. I'm a top-notch mechanic, but I can't improve on perfection. Come back and see me if you bang her up. Oh, I'm going to bang her up. It was the 90s. Everyone was like that all the time. It's, it's definitely, yeah. I mean, everyone was always, uh, everyone always behaved exactly like that constantly. Drive on the qualifying run in which your time to make one lap around the track will determine your place in the starting line. Hey, shithead, why don't you go fuck yourself with, uh, with your dick? Nope. No better. And so it's kind of the issue with the, the state of CDI emulation is you can never be fully sure, like, is this game just this shitty? 
or is it an issue with emulation and the, the audio is like stuttery in a way that it shouldn't be and and uh you know i mean i'm not going to be the one to go seek out a youtube video of this running on real hardware but one might before fully condemning this thing that said it would not surprise me if the audio was in fact just this bad that would be very on brand for the cdi nothing weird about that But it just sounds very busted in a way that, like, again, I would not be shocked. If you're just joining us, this is a video speedway for the CDI. Game of the year 1992, three, whatever it was. Okay, getting some verification from chat that the YouTube video is just as bad. Okay, so, listen, the CDI, for as much as they sold video games on it, as much as they tried to market it as if it were something that could play interactive experiences, CDI is not a game machine. Like, it's kind of the crazy thing about it, right? Is that this thing was so expensive. And it is like, you know, because they're trying to achieve different things, right? Like, it, they're, they're, they're attacking a different target. And that's why it is the way it is. But, like, you know, the Super Nintendo was out. For far less money. And was far better at playing games. Now, could a, a Super Nintendo watch... Forrest Gump? No. No, it could not. But it's something that you would see in gaming magazines at the time. And, and you know, as someone who was going to trade shows and saw this thing, you know, you'd, you'd play some Super Nintendo games and then 10 minutes later you'd be in the CDI booth seeing what they got. So, they're like, they're pretty directly comparable in, in that context. Um... joke like you just look at it and go like this thing's a pile of shit like what the and and it's like 700 799 for the player or however much they were charging for it like it's just ridiculous and then they go like well you know ours we run and we can run an encyclopedia and we can run this and we can run this and you know like the the true nature of the cdi is is in, in that versatility right but yo Like, all these games are bad. A lot of people like to vouch for Burn Cycle um, as being a good game. I don't... I don't know that I... I don't know that I agree with that. Love this straightaway. Really get to experience the magic of this audio. The funny thing about the Super Nintendo is, yeah, people have, uh, you know, now that people have modified it and people have kind of, kind of like, in a weird way, they've reverse engineered some of the things that you might do if you had, like, let's say, a CD-ROM add-on for the SNES. And uh, through the magic of the MSU-1 format, they've been able to put FMV games onto a SNES through a flash cart or via emulation, you know, depending on what you want to do. And people have done ROM hacks for popular SNES games to add CD quality soundtracks to them. And, and it's, it's fascinating. Um,
Why am I doing this? Why, why, why did we... Okay, well, we want to see what happens when the race ends. We want to see if the mechanic makes fun of us. I was like, why are... Why am I still playing this race? Why am I still doing another lap and a half of this? Um... Yeah, no, you get your, yeah, buy a racing wheel, go out and build a sim rig, start welding fucking metal pipes together now. Uh, so you can truly experience video speedway the way it was meant to be played. I have to... I have to, I have to turn that down. It's so much, it's so much. I thought by the name Video Speedway that we would see we like way more FMV on the track itself. Um, but yeah, that MSU one form, uh, format for the SNES is really neat. There's a similar thing for the Genesis, the mega drive, if you must. Um, that people are using to, to achieve a similar effect of basically like, like, can you tack on Sega CD support to a cartridge based game is sort of, of the, the idea there. And the answer is yes, there's a weird workaround you can do to kind of do that. And so people have, have done the same thing of like, hey, here's here's Streets of Rage with an arranged CD quality soundtrack or, or whatever. Not that it needs it. I mean, the God, the original soundtrack is already so fucking good. Um, but that's it's, it's still an interesting concept, you know? Uh, It's a rough turn. It's a rough everything. Oh, let's turn it back up. At least this driver finished in time to hear the cheers for the winners. Fuck you. Someone is running past a vacuum cleaner while holding a microphone. San Francisco track. Y and T in there to play this San Francisco track, you know what? this any faster or any more compelling in uh, once we get out of the carts Geneva track the way you make me feel what no
Ice on the track will be your greatest opponent, so you'll want to get extra grip on your tires. The other drivers will be crossing the finish line by the time you finish your first lap. Put a little more speed in her. I don't, I don't have to, I don't have any money, bro. Hey, shithead! Why don't you upgrade your car? Drive on the qualifying run in which your time to make one lap around the track will determine your place in the starting line. Bounce. Well, it's, it's faster, I suppose, than the carts. Still makes this awesome noise at 187 miles an hour. Yeah, put some oil in that motor. Like, whoops, I accidentally opened up the spot where the oil goes and poured in a bunch of sand. Sorry, shit. I guess I'm not a master mechanic, but my mustache is sure nice. Yeah, why don't you put some more speed in it? Hey, dickhead, why don't you put better tires in your car because the other racers are going to outrace you before you've even gotten out of bed. You're going to be pulling your... Pud while they're pulling uh, hot lap times on the over the finish line, huh? We think about that, Dick. Yeah, these guys are guys an animal, guys a monster. Um, Okay, is this not, uh, is this not doing anything? What do we got going on here? Well, when in doubt, quit and relaunch it, I guess. Look at this drone shot, really killer stuff. Let's slow this down, put some reverb on it. Welcome to Sticky Bear Math. I'm Sticky Bear. Let's do some math problems and play some games. I'm Sticky Bear. Ahora te diré los problemas en español. Now I will say the problems in English. Are you sure? Push an action button again to leave. <laughs> Rastafarian rhythms. This is, I'm just feeling this.
Addition is now turned off. Push an action button again to turn it back on. Addition is turned on now. Good work! This is hot. This is a hot soundtrack right here. I appreciate them. They, I appreciate them keeping the numbers relatively low to make it, you know, easier to. Oh, now they're doing me. Come on. There we go. Good work. No animation on these one, on that one. Just like, eh. This is three. The answer is one. Oh. Addition is now turned off. Push an action button again to turn it back on. You have to leave at least one math sign turned on. Lost my cursor. Oh well. <coughs> yeah, I can't uh, I can't get my cursor back into the window. It's like Let's try something else. Do you like family fun? Do you like uh, relaunching the emulator? For the purposes of family fun. How did the bear get sticky? Shh. Don't you ever mind? Don't ever mind. Don't ask no questions. Welcome to Sticky Bear Family Fun. I'm Sticky Bear. To play any game, move your star onto oh. Bear Dunk. Tic Tac Toe. Hippity hop. I love that hippity hop. Bear donk. Bear donk and hippity hop in the same game? Shit. Put a bear donk on it.
Now this is some family fun, am I right? I'm gonna fuck me a fish. Yo, you teleported. Click on the letters to guess the hidden word. Way to go. <laughs> Fucking helicopter parents, am I right? Congratulations. Uh, what controller am I using? I'm using a DualSense Edge to play uh, CDI games. Just like uh, Sony intended when they built the controller. Uh-oh. Oh. Phew. You're smart. Well. Uh-oh. You're an idiot. This is hard. This is hard. It's hard as fuck, yo. Oh. Some back alley bear donk. Yeah, I stayed late last night. I, uh... I put a bunch of additional extra backgrounds into the into the bear donk game. I thought we could have a button in there that just changes them. That'd be cool, right? Oh, did I try to change too many times and locked it up? I think we locked it up. But we got to see what the other games are. I mean, I can't just... Let's tick. We got to see what hippity hop is. We're not going to play tic tac toe with sticky bear today. Well, hippity hop. These animations. Like the, like they kind of remind me of the Zelda and the, the like the Wand of Gamelon and animations where they're just like weird, like kind of unnecessary zooms and at the start of all like that drone flight at the start of these things just has a real
To start, make an empty space by clicking on any game piece. Now you can remove other game pieces by jumping over them. Try to remove as many pieces as you can. I think we fucked that up. Unless I can just no, no. It, it, every every move has to be a jump of some kind. To play any game, move your star onto one of the pictures and press an action button. I'll take you to Bear Dunk. Sarah and Bumper will take you to Tic-Tac-Toe. And if you click on the rabbits, you can play Hippity Hop. If you want to know more about any of the activities, click on the question mark. No, I'm okay. If you want to leave Sticky Bear Family Fun, click on the Buy button. We want to leave Sticky In Bear Dunk, you click on no, the letters no. to get... No, I, I'm aware. Are what? you sure? Oh, yeah. Push an action button again to leave. Like, there's some craft in this, right? I mean, it's, you know, it's it's easy to want to shit on the CDI and all that other stuff. And I, I do think the system's capabilities are... They, they were crummy then, right? That's, that's sort of the thing, is, like, a lot of this stuff back in the 90s seemed shitty and fucked up. But within the confines of, like, putting a thing out on this platform, you know... They did their thing, dog. They did their thing. <laughs> but like, you know, the, the, Like it's not that exciting in the grand scheme of things, you know, because it's been it's been seen to death, right? But the animation quality in the cutscenes on this thing are really wild. Ich find's ganz schön langweilig in letzter Zeit. 
Mein Junge, dieser Friede ist etwas, das sich alle Kämpfer wünschen. Sicher, ich frage mich nur, was Ganon vorhat. Eure Majestät, Ganon und seine Untergebenen haben die Insel Koridai überfallen. Hm. Wie können wir helfen? Es steht geschrieben, dass nur Link Ganon schlagen kann. Großartig, ich packe sofort meine Sachen. Dafür ist keine Zeit mehr, dein Schwert ist ausreichend. Bekomme ich keinen Kuss, damit ich halt zurück. Darauf kannst du lange warten. Mhm. Squadula, wir sind in der Luft. It just has a, a, wow. like a, Was sind das für seltsame Gestalten? A drug trip like quality to it. I, I don't, you know, it's it's hard to pin down. I, you know, like some people, yeah, some people mention Dr. Katz when this comes up, but there's just a. They chose to move everyone's body parts in such overly, like, stagey ways. Um. I mean, I think the Mario game is, is way crazier for that, but. Um, we've got to restart it. That's okay. Fantasy Factory. <laughs> C'est gentil de la part de la princesse de nous avoir invité à ce pique-nique, hein Luigi? J'espère qu'elle a fait plein de spaghetti. Luigi, regarde. C'est Bossoir qui nous écrit. Cher plombier. Les coupes alignées, moi, sommes maintenant les maîtres du royaume des champignons. J'ai invité la princesse à rester dans un de mes sept hôtels de Koopa. Pour toujours. Je parie que vous ne pourrez jamais la retrouver. Il faut qu'on retrouve la princesse. Et vous, vous devez nous aider. Et si vous avez besoin d'aide pour traverser tous les hôtels, je vous conseille de lire le mode d'emploi. There is no Italian version that I am aware of. But there is, uh, what do we have? You know what? Let's just quit and restart preemptively rather than see if it will work. Uh, uh, this might be more than just English. Let's find out. Maybe this will have a language option. Nope. <laughs> nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look! It's from Bowser. Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalings and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I dare you to find her if you can. We gotta find the princess. And you gotta help us. If you need instructions on how to get through the hotels, check out the enclosed instruction book. Yeah, it's uh, so that's the, the Europe version, but I guess it is just English. Oh, well. Is there any, I think, I want to say Link has more languages. Yeah, there's a French version of that too. We watched the, oh, there's a, is this a Dutch version of it? What?
quad. Jongen, ik verveel me hier te pletter. Mijn jongen, naar deze vrede streven alle ware krijgers. Wat zou Gamel nu van plan zijn dan? Majesteit, Ganon en zijn slaven hebben het eiland Corridae veroverd. Hmm, hoe kunnen wij helpen? Hier staat geschreven, alleen Link kan Ganon verslaan. Goed, ik ga pakken. Er is geen tijd, jouw zwaard is genoeg. Wat dacht je van een afscheidskus? Uh, we hebben een French version of this. As well. Daar gaan we! Wauw, wat doen die hoofden daar? Dat zijn de gezichten van het kwaad. Wie zal jij moeten verslaan? Ik kan er beter vandoor gaan. Hier is de kaart. Waar wil je naartoe? Well, I mean, we've come all this way, really. We might as well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the French version. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut s'ennuyer ici Mon petit, cette paix, c'est pourquoi luttent tous les vrais guerriers. Je me demande ce que Ganon est en train de faire. Votre Majesté, Ganon et ses fidèles se sont emparés de l'île de Corridae. Hmm, que pouvons-nous faire Il est écrit, seul Link peut vaincre Ganon. Hmm, fish, you don't bien. say. Je prends mes affaires. Nous n'avons plus le temps. I was just gesticulating so wildly that I bit my lip. And it hurts. Hurts bad. Nous sommes partis. Wow, à qui appartiennent toutes ces têtes? Ce sont les forces du mal. Tu dois les vaincre toutes. Je suppose que je ferais mieux d'y aller. Voici la carte. Où désires-tu aller? Ugh. There's something about video games with red book audio that are, that goes like way over the top in a weird way that you're just like I like that when the music kicks in on the map it's just such a a weird thing <laughs> I don't know I don't know if this one does this one start with a similar open? Let's find out. Zelda, Duke Anklet is under attack by right. the evil this forces the, yeah. of Ganon. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? I'll take the trade. This is the one that's way crazier on the zoom in and out effects than. Month, send Link. <laughs> yeah. Ampa, don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the king will safely return. Enough. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder. Yeah, what's everyone has seen dinner. this in. Oh boy. <laughs> single frame snippets for years and years, right? <clears throat> A whole month gone, and still no word. I'm certain he's all right. Yeah, that old Ganon's no match for the king. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! <laughs> Wake up, Impa. We're going to Gamelon. All right, dear. I'll get the Triforce of Wisdom.
Boy. Well. I suppose there's a bit of a rabbit hole here as well. Can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Do I have the top-down Zelda game? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. It's not great. It's not a, it's, you know. Graf Onklet wordt aangevallen door de boze machten van Ganon. Ik ga naar Gamelon om hem te helpen. Maar vader, als er nou iets met u gebeurt? Ik neem de Trivors van Moed mee ter bescherming. Als je nou maand niets van me hoort, stuur je link. Impa? Geen zorgen, Zelda. De Trivors van Moed verzekert de koning van een veilige thuiskomst. Genoeg, mijn schip vertrekt morgenochtend. Wat zouden we gaan eten? Oh boy, ik heb zo'n honger. Ik kan wel een octorok op. Een maand later. Oh, een maand voorbij en nog niets gehoord. Ik weet zeker dat hij het goed maakt. Ja, die oude Gamelon kan niet tegen de koning op. Link, ga naar Gamelon en zoek mijn vader. Fijn, eindelijk kan ik die Dodongos te lijf gaan. De Dongos te lijf gaan. Word wakker, Impa. We gaan naar Gamelon. Dat is goed, kind. Ik haal even de Trivors van bijzijn. Anyway. I'm, I might have time to quickly load up that, uh, that other Zelda game, but uh, we'll have to... There'll be, there will be plenty of time to stare at CDI games. Uh, hopefully, you know, and, and again, I think there's another release of this emulator planned in what was, I read as the, as the relatively near future. I don't think it's gonna you know, add DVC support or anything that major right out of the gate, but um, you know, hopefully progress continues. I would love to see, again, as someone with a now broken CDI, uh, I would love to see uh, more work done on uh, CDI emulation. Is this just not run at all? This might just not work. Yeah, it looks like Zelda's adventure just might not. There we go. How much is the emulator? It's it's not super expensive. I, I was like forty bucks. Anyway, right now, if you supply your own CDI BIOS for it and you use the same BIOS files used in uh, RetroArch or Mame. Uh, it will unlock this emulator for for zero dollars, but uh, and that is the BIOS you would use to emulate the CDI anyway. So it, it's kind of you know unless you're trying to do something weird. All right, it looks like Zelda's Adventure unfortunately does not work. So obviously, more work to be done. Um. Yeah, see? And Thunder in Paradise won't load at all. Ugh. Urgh. I've got to contact my local CDI supplier. Contact your local CDI supplier for details. Um. Anyway. That's the magic of the CDI, or, or a little bit more of the magic of the CDI. Uh, I do have that drive belt, and I need to find my Torx screwdrivers so that I can open that thing up and see if I can uh, see if I can fix that thing. And then we can start burning discs because that thing does have a DVC in it. And then we can play Thunder in Paradise. You know, games that matter. Um, but until then. Until then, it's all just a pipe dream, baby. That's going to do it. You might see me tomorrow night. 
after, uh, you know, once Tekken's out or something, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, you know, plan to see me on Friday. We'll be back to rank some 8-bit Nintendo games. And so on and so forth, as we do on Fridays. And, uh, yeah, have yourself a good uh, rest of the week until then. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye.